hi guys so welcome to this channel so for today's video i am going to uh, teach you on how to set up your bricks themes so it's a bricks builder so assuming that you already upload your bricks builder so we have here the bricks and bricks child theme so i recommend you to use bricks child theme in case you wanted to have control on your website so just upload first the main bricks themes and the child themes so let's activate this one and you will see this one but first we need to activate the license so we will uh, activate that one hey kid Never let them get inside your head. Tell you now let's go click this activate the license and we will input here our license key. So in my case I will paste it over here. Then activate li license. Okay, so now the license is activated. Now let's go to the settings. So this is where the for the important things you need to set up so but before that we will need to go to um, settings and permalinks so we'll change here the permalinks for post name then save changes okay so this is for ISO pr SEO purposes and for something that you need to take note so if you wanted to have your for example you have a blog post or you're planning to create a web website with proper categories you can also check or put something like in the post area here then set, click this one so that's that, that but in my case we'll just choose post name hit save now for bricks we'll just started setting up the settings for your bricks builder so as so post types we'll just uh, select post type to edit with bricks so pages of course so uh, since you're going to build your website we need to put it on pages not in post since post is for blog posting so you can also load the Gutenberg bricks if you want it to so for SPG uploads I will enable it only for administrator okay and smooth scroll okay then this meta tags global CSS manager save form submission database so we'll just enable this one okay now skip that one okay so custom breakpoints are best configurable before you start working on your site so you can also enable that one if you want in my case i will skip that one then can convert your convert container to new section and block so you can create a full backup before running the converter so right now i will just skip this one since we don't need that one but if you're advanced user you can use this one for your specific needs now this one login we'll just set it for default registration we don't need that one default default and save now next is builder access so for editor we don't need the editor to have access for our bricks builder unless you have a reason for them to give some access like an editor or some SEO but I prefer to put it in administrator only now code execution for only administrator then hit save so now let's go to templates Okay, public templates so this is where you are going to uh, put your created templates in public online or you can disallow it only for login users to view your templates 
you can have your my templates access allow other sites to browse and insert your templates from their library if you want that one you can also enable that one you can add a protection just in case you want you don't want to let others to use your templates okay so that's that and hit save i think we don't need to do anything here okay for this brick builder this is one of the reason why i like this one since brick builder has a auto save functionality within 60 seconds you can set up this one here or you can disable that one so i think it's good to or it's good for me to enable the auto save for every one sec just in case you forgot to save your job or there's um electricity interruption so i like dark when using builder so if, if it is also one of the popular options when viewing and builder since you know we're working in dark areas say for example you're working in your room or something this dark builder mode is good okay now for toolbar logo link i will show you this one for the next video but i will suggest you to choose edit or dashboard or you can also edit in wordpress so in my case i think i should choose this one edit wordpress okay now let's scroll down control panel okay structure panel will enable the duplicate delete okay collapse on pieces okay wrap element into block so by the way container is the main container or the section div is unstyled and block is styled for 100 percent okay so i'll just leave it like that okay we'll talk about this one later on on our next video so if you wanted more video like this you just hit subscribe and like then leave a comment below if you like this video now let's go dynamic data render dynamic data text to canvas okay so let's just save that one so okay we're good to go here okay you can choose the site language but in my case let's just say div by default which is english of course let's disable emojis okay we can disable this one but we'll not do that we will not do that one so disable lazy loading okay uh, element id and class gets added to every element by default okay we'll just skip this one but maybe we should enable this one I'll see how it goes but we can you can disable this one if you know how you, or what you're doing so i guess we'll just disable this one okay okay now let's we'll just save okay this one this part here if your website is on staging or maintenance mode you can just choose for coming soon or maintenance so why this one is new so and this is staging by the way so i will not enable this one this is for uh, this is recommended if you or your website is live but you don't want the users to view it yet so you can just choose this coming zone coming soon and save now for the template by default the api case you can choose the api case here like and splash google maps recaptcha and this the recaptcha i recommend by the way is cloudflare turnstile so this is one of the uh, cloud uh, recaptcha that i recommend you to use so that is the settings for bricks now next is custom code this is where you are going to embed your custom css scripts scripts inside the header 
scripts in the footer part so for scripts i think i recommend you to put it here and for css here so i think i do not recommend you to put it here unless you uh, unless you wanted to have uh, embedded google analytics okay so for other script for your website i recommend you to put it here okay so if you have any question just leave a comment below and we will see you in the next video thank you and this is brian granzi from kazokian official bye for now